Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a lesson on multiplying polynomials. I know, you're super excited. It's going to be great. So remember that one time we did distribution? Yeah, you should still remember how to do distribution. It's kind of important. Uh, but the idea is you take this term that's in front, and you have to multiply it by everything that's inside the parentheses. You're, you're giving each of these here uh, a turn with uh, 3x squared. So they're doing some multiplying here. Uh, so the first part, 3x squared times x is going to give you a 3x squared times x. Uh, well, these have the same base, and so you had to add those exponents, uh, and that will give you a 3x cubed. And the next part, you got to do 3x squared times 3, uh, and this addition sign still there. So you got plus 3 times 3x squared. Well, the 3 times 3 part is going to give you a 9, and so it's going to give you 9x squared. Uh, these have different powers on the x's, and so you can't combine them, and so voila, problem over. Let's move on to another one. Uh, if there's two terms in front of something with two terms, by the way, these are called binomials. There's two terms, bi as in two. Uh, you need to take both of these terms and distribute both of them through the process here. So I'm going to use one color for my first term as I distribute, and then use a different one for my next one. So I got v times 5v, v times 5v. Uh, well, the v's are going to multiply together to make v squared. So it's going to be 5v squared. And now I have to do v times the 6 there. V times 6 is 6V, and we're going to put the, put the addition there, plus 6V. Uh, and the next part, let's pick another color, uh, purple. Purple is a good color, I guess. Uh, when you distribute the second part, you do have to make sure you check the sign. Uh, this is a negative 8, so I'm going to do negative 8 times both of these. Negative 8 times 5V, well, negative 8 times 5 is negative 40, so it's almost like plus negative 40. Uh, or you can just write out subtract 40. And don't forget to put the V there as well. The V is one of the uh, factors. Now you also have to take negative 8 and times by positive 6. Negative 8 times positive 6 is going to give you negative 48. So now we have everything distributed. Once you're at this point, you do need to figure out if any of these things combine. Uh, well, this has got V squared and there's no other V squared terms. So that's going to that's gonna stay by itself. Uh, this one is 6v, and this one is also a v. And so these combine because they're like terms. A uh, 6 minus 40 is going to give you negative 34. And make sure you tack on the v there. And there's that v factor in both. Uh, and then the uh, subtract 48 at the end doesn't have another term to combine with. So it just comes down, and voila, we have simplified after we distributed twice. Uh, let's have you try distributing this one. You're going to take this term times by both of these, and then you're going to take negative 3 and times by both of these. Go ahead and pause the video and see how that goes. All right, here's your uh, first step here, the distribution step. So we distributed 2a times both of these, and that generates 8a squared and subtract 12a. And then you have to take negative 3 and times by both of these, and that'll generate negative 12a, or subtract 12a, and plus 18, because negative 3 times negative 6 gives you positive 18. So now we're at this point. The rest of this is just simplifying. Uh, the a squared can't combine anything. The 18 can't. Uh, but these two can. And so you'll get 8a squared minus 24a, and then plus 18. And voila, we have double distributed here. Uh, well, on your assignment, there are also situations where you have to triple distribute. Uh, yeah, and there's even more that has uh, more terms in the second one. Uh, however many terms there are, you just you take each term of the first one and times it by each term of the second one. And so you just take it one at a time and you'll distribute them through, distribute, distribute, uh, and you just keep going through that process. So let's go ahead and do this together. Uh, we got 3k squared times 5k and times by negative 7. Let's do the times by 5k part. 3 times 5 is 15. k squared times k is going to give you k to the third. 
And now we have to do 3k squared times negative 7. Oh, 3 times negative 7 gives you negative 21. And then the k squared didn't have any other k's to multiply with, so it stays as k squared. Uh, let's do another color here. We got negative 3k is going to times by both of these. Negative 3k times positive 5k gives you negative 15k squared, because you got k and k multiplying together. That's a bad squared. Uh, and then negative 3k times negative 7 is going to give you a positive 21k. That was that part. Um, and let's move on to another color, maybe this green here. Uh, now we need to do negative 3 times 5k and negative 3 times negative 7. Uh, I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to just go down to the next line. Uh, we got negative 3 times 5k, which is going to give you negative 15k. Uh, and then negative 3 times negative 7 is going to give you a positive 21. Uh, normally I put all of these on the same line, so maybe I, I can move this over and just, just kind of goes over there. So uh, now we have all our terms here. We have to figure out which of these combine. Well, uh, there's no other terms with k to the third, so that one's going to stay, 15k to the third. Uh, there are two terms with k squared, and they're going to combine. Uh, so we got negative 21 and negative 15k squared. It's going to give you negative 36k squared. Uh, and the next two terms do have the same amount of k's, so 21k and negative 15k. You add those up, you're looking at positive 6k. And then the 21 on the end doesn't have anything to combine with, so it stays there, and then we got plus 21. And none of these combine with each other at this point, and so your problem's done. Hopefully it gives you a start on your assignment. Good luck.